Of course I have to park in a spot where the sun glare is ridiculous. But watch that. Should I move the car? Or should I talk with my arm like this the whole time? We're gonna move the car. totally decided to go to a whole different parking spot because parking lot because there was so much sun there and I was like oh I should head home because the sun glare Buddy, gets toward West Flamingo Road the sun glare gets real here so I figured I would make it home I was like 20 minutes away but I got to about 16 minutes away and I saw Albertsons and I know that they have these really cool kebabs like shish kebabs that Adam's been dying to try and I don't have anything for dinner yet and it's 4:41, and he leaves work at five so I'm gonna run in there and I'm that's what I'm gonna get him for dinner win-win situation but in the meantime while we still have some daylight you know let's waste some more time I wanted to talk to you guys about heartburn here is how this came up I was in Target Adam ran out of body wash and I went to go get it for him side note here's a text conversation between us because it's hysterical I found this body wash for him and it's in that men's section of target which i'm so excited that i could shop in now for him i told him i'm like before i got pregnant i'm like this makes you smell like a rich bachelor and then after i got pregnant i'm like this makes you smell like a rich soccer dad so he ran out of it and he's like would you mind going to get me more we went to target yesterday literally in the aisle of target i was like i'm gonna die like i, I sat down on the bottom shelf of something while he was looking at a fan and i was just like I felt like, you know, those blow up Santa toys, yard decorations that are blown up at night. And then during the day, they kind of deflate and they just lay on the grass. I'm not a fan because I don't like to see dead Santas on people's grass. But my best friend was like, yeah, until your kid wants one and you see the smile on their face where you put it up. And I'm like, mm, that would be me. Regardless, I felt like a deflated Mrs. Claus, <laughs> literally. Like I was just all of the air energy everything was sucked out of me and he's like let's go you need to go home i fell asleep in the car on the way home like head down everything he's like can you just pick it up for me during the week when you feel better so i texted him from that aisle because i smelled there were two there were actually three there and then there was one that was missing i could see what it was called but they were out of it so i smelled the first one and i was like that could be it I'm not sure I smelled the second one I'm like well that's definitely not it and the third one was a brand new one it was in a black bottle his was not in a black bottle it was a clear bottle but I don't remember the color stripe on the ribbon for what scent it was so I think it could have been the blue the first one was blue the second one was green the last one it wasn't it I'm like this first one kind of smells like a sleazy used car salesman the second one smells like a rich kid who's like a trust fund baby who wears flip-flops and smokes a lot of weed they both smelled okay but like not but not like the one and he responded he's like it's the blue one i'm like are you sure did i just make you a sleazy used car salesman i think it's the third one i really do i think it's the one that wasn't there i was about to go to another target but um i don't feel like it so i got him the blue we'll exchange it if it's the wrong one no big deal i don't think that's it though because he does not smell like a cheesy sleazy used car salesman he smells like a hot zaddy don't come for me with the zaddy word i had to come edit this in it was the pacifica sea salt and grapefruit so i went and exchanged it but if you ever have a chance to go to target in the men's section and smell this it is so good it is so masculine it just smells like a rich soccer dad to me and who doesn't want their man to smell like that enjoy anyway well i've got starving while i was in there baby c needed to eat so i love the archer farms trail mixes at target however i can't eat anything sweet right now it makes me feel sick Ugh, it's just gross to me so i was like oh i'll just get a salty one so i grabbed tex mex not thinking which has spicy peanut spicy peanuts whoa that was a bad word to almost mess up as Peter mom would say, family friendly. I swear we're gonna be good Judy's one day. So I got in the car, not even thinking, and I started, look how much I ate of this bag. We're down to here. This is all in my belly. Your girl has heartburn. What was I thinking? Spicy peanuts, spicy chili bits. And I thought, you know what? It's time to make the heartburn video. So I've explained that I thought I had asthma. I thought I had asthmatic issues 
triggered by pregnancy winds up it had nothing to do with asthma and it was all really severe heartburn that was causing an asthmatic type of cough so after I went to my doctor and she figured this out and told me I told you guys on YouTube because I vlogged that appointment like I vlog all of my appointments for you I'll post that video up there she suggested that I take either over-the-counter Harper medication Tums or if neither of those worked she'd prescribe me something so I decided to tr uh, begrudgingly try Harper medication I got a bottle on the way home that day it's all in that vlog I did a haul of everything I stopped at CVS to get the inhaler in case it was asthma and I got stuff for heartburn there. I did get like chewables, not Tums, but some antacid, very similar. When Adam got home that night, he told me he spoke to one of his friends and they suggested this other over-the-counter one that sounded very similar. And I'm like, well, if it sounds the same, it's probably the same drug name. And he thought that was the funniest thing in the whole entire world. And I'm like, what's funny about that? Like drug names are similar if they're a similar active ingredient. He's like, ha, 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 ha. But it was true. But he was like insistent that I take that I took drug B, not drug A. I can't remember the names of them. They're in the medicine cabinet at home because I took them for two days. Then I started to do research on natural because I was kind of feeling a little guilty, even though it's not like the biggest of deals. Doctor said it was okay. And as I'm doing research, Adams is class C for pregnancy, meaning it potentially can cause, cause side effects in baby. Mine was class B, which is better. Doesn't mean better is good. So I'm like, I'd rather have no esophagus left than do something to harm my poor baby. And I think I was four days in, so I'm like, I'm not gonna freak out, it's four days. It, it is what it is at this point. Baby's fine, I'm fine, I'll just stop taking it. But in the meantime, I needed to find something natural. You guys came through with the remedies, then we'll get there in a minute. But I wanna start and talk about heartburn and pregnancy, why we get heartburn and pregnancy, how to manage it as naturally as possible, what medications are safe if you need them, what foods could potentially hurt or help, and then all of the remedies that not only I discovered, but you guys shared with me. Okay, so let's start with the causes of heartburn during during clemency. What? I am like six months late. What? Let's talk about the causes of heartburn during pregnancy. I guess causes in pregnancy equals clemency. Okay. Right now, your uterus is expanding. All of your organs are being pushed up and out of the way to make room for your growing baby. But what happens is when things move up, all of the food in your stomach is pressing up and it makes it easier for that acid to repeat, to, for the reflux to go up into your esophagus where it doesn't belong. Also during pregnancy, you release a hormone called relaxin that kind of calms and relaxes everything in your body. It s helps soften your bones in your pelvis so that eventually they could, your hips can spread and baby can be born through the birth canal. Relaxin, as it's relaxing everything, that's kind of what causes constipation in the beginning as well, but it will cause that little flap that closes, that keeps all the acid in your stomach as you're digesting you, their, the food that you eat that relaxes as well so it's not closing all the way it's kind of like loose and it's allowing that acid to flow back up into your esophagus mine got so bad i was actually getting a sore throat from it along with the cough also it could be caused by the food you eat so certain foods like spicy foods greasy food fried food sometimes carbonated beverages and sodas will cause heartburn in some people for everybody i found that it's different because a lot of the remedies that people told me actually caused heartburn for me so it's your body how you're reacting that can also either cause or ease the problem the majority it's spicy foods greasy foods very salty foods, which I just found out. And that was probably irritating me because I cannot get enough salt with this pregnancy. Sometimes in some people, dairy, in some people, sweets, specifically chocolate. Another one, I eat a ton of chocolate. However, the chocolate I eat isn't sweet. It's unsweetened, but it doesn't matter. There's something in chocolate that'll do it for you. In some people actually meat, something about digesting the meat, cause it's kind of harsh to digest will cause issues. And for other people, 
unfortunate crowd, when it's really severe, just water can cause heartburn. A lot of people say they can't even get water down because it just kind of lights a fire in here. I wonder if that's what was happening to me a little bit when I first started drinking a lot more water again after the first trimester. After it stopped, after the first trimester, I just had trimestal and kept going like it was no big deal. What? I started drinking a lot of water again after the first trimester sickness passed. So maybe that was causing it for me. I'm not sure. Here's how we can manage heartburn during pregnancy. You are able to take antacids, Tums. A lot of people say they sleep with Tums right by the side of their beds. The one I got, I think it was a generic brand, but I'll take a picture of the bag and I'll put it there. It's at home in the medicine cabinet. That one, unfortunately, it's a chewable. It tastes really good, but there's high fructose corn syrup in there. So I'm taking it when I need it, but I'm trying not to take too much of it because high fructose corn syrup is one of the worst things that you could put in your body. And I don't really want my baby that now has taste buds to get a taste for that because it's in a lot of junky foods that I'd rather him not have or crave when he is older. The other thing about antacids you have to be really careful about, you have to read the bottle. You really shouldn't exceed more than five doses in one day. I read it on one of the apps and then I confirmed that a doctor said that too many antacids can actually cause bile reflux, which is a thousand times worse, more painful and more difficult to manage than heartburn itself. So just be careful, speak with your doctor, read labels. And if you can try not to take more than five doses in one day or in a 24 hour period, I should say. The other way that you can manage heartburn is with over-the-counter medications approved by the doctors. Definitely speak to them because like I said, after I started taking mine, I found out that they were class C and even class B and I really didn't want to go there. And then there are natural remedies that we'll get into in a minute. And then you could also do prescription medications if your heartburn is just that out of control. None of the over-counter medications or antacids are working for you. Definitely speak to your doctor because you don't need to suffer or develop some sort of ulcer in your esophagus. Let's talk about the foods that can help with heartburn while you're pregnant. Think alkaline. So bananas are really alkaline. They tend to help some people. For me, I can't eat banana right now. I've always, always had an issue digesting banana. It just binds me. And pregnancy also is very binding on your, uh, on your intestines. Sorry, pregnancy brain is also a real thing. And I can't think of words ever when I'm trying to speak. Let's just talk real talk. Gloves off. No TMI here. We're all here to learn. So I'm just going to say it like it is. Bananas constipate me, especially more than one banana in a day. Eh, even that and considering pregnancy constipates you, I try to stay away from bananas unless they're in acai bowls because that kind of offsets it for me. I don't know why. Apples are another fruit that's really good for heartburn that thankfully is has more fiber in it than anything so it'll help the constipation issue and they say that if you're going to use an apple for heartburn chew it really 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 well like chew it a lot get it kind of mushy in your mouth so this way it'll coat everything going down it'll also coat your stomach rice is another alkaline food that people say helps issue again rice causes constipation it's binding for some people it is for me white rice so i tend to steer away from it during pregnancy but if you don't have that issue rice and rice milk tend to help some people say milk a glass of milk will help them some people say dairy hurts them so you just kind of have to trial and error this but if you don't do dairy a lot of people say a glass of almond milk will help them as well and they'll just sip on almond milk throughout the day i don't know if it was the brand i bought i don't know if my herp was just so advanced at that point almond milk did nothing for me but make it worse when I tried now this one's gonna sound insane so many of you guys suggested it for me vinegar my sister told me white vinegar a lot of people told me apple cider vinegar it's acidic yes but it actually the acid neutralizes your stomach acids once you get it down however if it causes any kind of burning in here your heartburn might be advanced and it might be telling you that you have some sort of ulcer going on up here now every time i used to drink apple cider vinegar in the past i would get really sensitive in my teeth even though i would water it down i would drink it with a straw i'd brush my teeth before and after i drink a lot of water to kind of get that acid off my teeth and my gums are just sensitive. I would do it a lot of times anyway for the health benefits and I would get burning in here and it would actually cause me to get heartburn versus relieving heartburn. That's the only time ever I got heartburn in my life prior to being pregnant. Even if it would help right now, I'm so scarred that I'm petrified to try it. Will I? I might, 
I just can't do it right now. I'm so scared of it. But if you can, and you're a brave soul that wants to try, my girlfriend whose husband has really bad heartburn, and she's actually pregnant right now, said that you take a shot with every meal and it'll help digest your food. It'll help kind of settle everything and it'll help alleviate that acid from coming back up. Once you get your heartburn under control, then you can go to doing it once a day or in the evening, not too close to bedtime because you don't want to lie flat after you have that apple cider vinegar and allow it to come back up. The last food related thing is you want to try to eat smaller meals throughout the day versus dumping a whole bunch of food in your stomach like I'm used to, having your stomach expand and making it difficult to digest those foods. You're making your body work way too hard. You're kind of stretching and expanding your stomach. Me personally, I eat a ton of vegetables because I get in, I try to get in as many vegetables as possible for health throughout the day. It is so not good for heartburn. That's probably what started this too. Let's talk about remedies because this video is getting ridiculously long. Eating and not laying down immediately after you eat is a huge thing. Try to stop eating two or three hours at least before bedtime. It's really hard for me because we're tired, we're pregnant we're exhausted. A lot of us are like working, coming home, eating, and then passing out. I think that's another thing that triggered this to be so bad for me. So I try now to eat as early as possible, sit up for a while. Then when it's time to go to bed, I will prop myself up on pillows. One of those pillow wedges that goes under your mattress or under your under you is supposed to be really good. I read somewhere that pillows don't really do the trick. They're like $50. So I can't bring myself to get one yet. As Thankfully, my heartburn's been a little bit better, but I do sleep propped up on pillows. Maybe it's working, maybe it's not. I'd rather try it than not. It's not bothering my neck. It's not bothering my belly or my hips or anything like that. So why not? Some doctors suggest chewing a piece of gum after your meals that will start the digestion process and it'll help you digest your food and get through your food faster. And this way the acids aren't coming up. Chewing gum increases saliva, which increases, speeds up, helps digestion. I'm not saying it right, but for me personally, I was chewing a ton of gum in the beginning to help with the nausea. I think the peppermint was irritating it because a lot of people also said that peppermint tea or peppermint in general helped their heartburn. There are a select handful of us where it hurts it. It makes it worse. So anything peppermint related, I cannot do. It makes it so much worse, especially because we're in a time where you're not allowed to go into places without wearing a mask and covering your face, what I would do is when I was nauseous a lot, I would put gum in my mouth and then put the mask on to help with like the breathing and to make me feel less nauseous. And I think, like I was telling Adam one time, I was like, I realized it after I put a fresh piece of gum in my mouth and then the mask on, I almost felt like I had smoked a menthol cigarette. The mintiness, the menthol of it, that usually you breathe out I guess I was breathing in in the mask that really triggered my heartburn that night and I was up coughing for hours. They also say to avoid tight clothes that are restrictive, that kind of push up against your belly and they don't let your stomach do its thing because everything is tightened, everything's getting pushed up back into right here, your esophagus, your throat. So if you can, looser waistbands, dresses, like I'm wearing a dress right now. Oh my God, I just showed you my underwear and I'm in a public parking lot. <laughs> just do oh my thank god i live in las vegas not uncommon to see people wear thongs wearing thongs down the street to avoid that in the future and literally two minutes ago to avoid chub rub i had to get some shorts to go under my dresses from now on i walk funny because of the chub rub but also somebody said that those prevent stretch marks you guys i am all over the place today anyway dresses looser clothes, even your leggings, either wear them looser or like at dinner time, maybe change into something else. I am a leggings girl all day long. Athleisure is my thing. I live in them. I work out constantly. So it's just easier. But what I'll do is in the evening or after my workout, whenever that is, but it's usually the evening I'll shower. And then I tend to try to put on looser sweatpants, a looser dress, even leggings that are made out of different material and they don't have as much pull and spandex in them, but they have more cotton. I have a lot of those. Stuff like that versus anything tight, a belt, jeans, that button. I had to give up my jeans, my non-pregnancy jeans, even while they still, still fit, 
back in the beginning of first trimester because just the button pressing against my stomach hurt so bad. I don't know if it was mental. Somebody else told me, I brought this on purpose just to show you guys. Oh, here it is. Papaya enzymes are super helpful for heartburn. So I got these right off of Amazon. They're vegan, they're sugar-free, they're chewable. They contain no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or preservatives, wheat, gluten, milk, eggs, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, crustacean. I don't know what that means. Shelf, I think it is a type of like shrimp, you know, like that kind of shellfish, shellfish or fish. They are just plant-based sugar-free candies, candies. Real quick, editing row here. Some people were concerned that papaya can be harmful to an unborn baby. I did a lot of research. It is unripened papaya. A ripe papaya is perfectly fine during pregnancy and digestive enzymes made out of papaya are made with ripe papaya. However, if you're pregnant, do not start anything. Do not try anything until you speak to your doctor about it. Basically just support the breakdown of difficult to digest food, reduce occasional post-meal gas and bloating. Pregnant girls, I need to say no more. We all suffer. Supports colon health and overall digestive function. So you guys get the point. This was definitely less than $20, maybe like 15 on Amazon. It has been a lifesaver. Another remedy somebody told me was she would make fennel and chamomile tea or she would buy tummy tamer tea the only tummy tamer tea say that 10 times fast the only tummy tamer tea that i found had peppermint in it and i didn't even think about it i bought it i tried it didn't work so i'm still on the lookout for either tummy tamer tea without peppermint or to go to the health food store, I just haven't made it there yet. I'm gonna get fennel seeds, I'm gonna get chamomile flowers, I'm gonna make them into a tea, I'm gonna let you guys know how it is, I just haven't done it so far. But these honestly have been a lifesaver and also avoiding foods I shouldn't be eating. I've been so much better since I cut out some stuff and Adam has this quote, he talks about sacrifice and he's like, if you wanna know what true love is, look at the sacrifice a mother makes for her child. And just saying that is making me cry. Like I love certain foods, I want certain foods. You don't know how bad I would die for something spicy right now, but it's the sacrifice I'm making for my baby because I don't want to eat it and then have to take Harper medication to make it better because I want it. Last word of caution because I've been sitting in this parking lot for 30 minutes. Adam's on his way home from work and I still have not gone inside. I haven't started dinner, nothing like that. But you know what? We're chilling, we're hanging out. Oh, and we're losing sunlight. Call your doctor if you have any type of bleeding, coughing up blood, God forbid, blood in your stool, God forbid anything like that, or if your coughing is so severe that you're getting really, really, really short of breath, or if you're heartburn in general, even if it's not causing coughing, but if you're getting ridiculously short of breath, call 911, but if it's something that's not an emergency, call your doctor, talk through it with your doctor. Obviously what your doctor and healthcare provider say goes, but I hope in the meantime, if it's not that severe, these remedies helped you guys. If I didn't mention the remedy that you mentioned in the comments of my other video, it is not because I ignored you. I tried everything that I could possibly try. Some of it like the apple cider vinegar, whoo, others of it I just haven't gotten to yet. But if you wanna add what worked for you, and I forgot to mention it here, was not on purpose. I adore each and every one of you. I live for your supportive comments. I would never have been able to get through this experience as unscathed as I am so far. I mean, it's gonna be a pain in the butt for anybody to deal with pregnancy, but I'm really, I've locked out. I'm really not suffering as bad as a lot of people do. And that's because of the help and the support from you guys. I love you so much. If you're interested in another pregnancy video with me, click one of those there. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have, have you officially join Join the family. Ooh, there's a lot to say. Click that little circle there or the red box below if you don't see that on the screen. On some devices you do, on some you don't. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.